Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck next week. History abounds with tales of hugely tall men and women, but it's only in the past couple of hundred years that we've had medical explanations for the phenomenon. Pituitary gigantism, Marfan syndrome, unicoid tallness, Soto syndrome, and acromegaly are all conditions that can cause those afflicted to grow beyond the human norm. Many of the world's largest individuals, from the tallest person ever, Robert Wadlow, to the world's current tallest living man, Sultan K.A. with tildes and have suffered from conditions related to their pituitary glands. Here are the 10 tallest recorded people in history. Number 10. Brahim Takula, 8 feet and 1 inch. Brahim Takula holds a spot as the joint second tallest in the world alongside Mortiza Merzad. Brahim also holds the Guinness World Record for the world's most enormous feet on a living person, and the second largest in history, measuring over 15 inches long. He was born in Morocco in 1982. This unusual growth was a result of a tumor that affected his pituitary gland, and this tumor increased the growth of hormone level in his system, and the result was an unprecedented stature. This Moroccan giant's condition was diagnosed when he was 18 years old. A doctor had seen him and was curious about his physique. He implored him to get a blood test to decipher the abnormal growth. It was after the test that they got the details of the condition. As you may know, his stature is problematic to the daily running of his life, and he can't stand upright in the flat where he lives, and he can only enter some car models. Even cars with higher roofs are not so comfortable. An orthopedic podiatrist recommends a special shoe designed to support his weight it must be hard living his life. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to top 10 videos and hit the bell icon in the next 5 seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck, give it a shot, it actually works. Number 9. Don Kohler, 8 feet and 2 inches. Don Kohler is another giant with a massive height of 8 feet and 2 inches. He had average growth until he turned 10, after which he shot up at an alarming rate. He was the world's tallest man from 1969 until he died in 1981. He never lived in a flat of his own all his life, because he couldn't find one with his ceiling high enough. He lived in various hotel rooms, meaning that he had to spend a fortune on accommodation. Apart from having to cope with the cost of hotel living, he slept on two double beds for comfort's sake. The room's lighter pie didn't have any lighter hanging fixtures. His head bumps into it. His twin sister is about 5 feet 9 inches tall, making a near 29 inches high difference, a worthy entry into the Guinness World Record. Before he died he suffered from kyphosis which reduced his height by curving his spine. He died at age 55 in Chicago after a heart ailment, at the time of his death, he shrunk to 7 feet 10 inches. Number 8. Vikas Uppal, 8 feet and 3 inches. Little is known about Vikas Uppal, the Indian giant, because he lived a short life. His height is contested to this day, because he was never measured officially by the Guinness World Record. He was born in the Rohtak district of Haryana in 1986, where everyone who knew him could attend to his giant status. According to the Tribune Indian newspaper he measured 8 feet 3 inches, and was still growing when the measurement was taken. Another Indian entertainment site Redif.com claimed that they measured a pole in 2005, and he was 8 feet 10 inches. Going by their findings, it would mean that he was the tallest human in India. Another reporter said that he was 8 feet 9 inches tall. Although the figures are conflicting everyone agrees that he is above 8 feet and deserves mention here. He died during surgery on June 30, 2007, when doctors tried to remove a tumor from his brain. Had he been alive for longer, it would have been a perfect opportunity for the Guinness World Records to reach him. Number 7. Bernard Coyne, 8 feet and 2 inches. Bernard Coyne was born in Iowa on July 27, 1897. He suffered from a medical condition called Unicode, also known as infantile gigantism. The condition is an extremely rare one as it's described as daddy's long leg syndrome by layman. His exact height when he died is still unconfirmed, but it certainly didn't change much. According to the registration card he did before World War I, he was already 8 feet tall. As of then he was only 21 years old, 
and when he died in 1921 he measured 8 feet 2 inches, but other sources claim it could be more. Regardless of the conflicting reports, Coyne is one man that has unarguably made it to medical history as taller than 8 feet. Unfortunately, he didn't wait for the world to know him any more as he died in his early 20s. He died from liver hardening and glandular fever. He was buried in his hometown in a custom-built coffin. Number 6. Sultan Kaysen, 8 feet 3 inches. Another human that has exceeded medical expectations is Sultan Kaysen. At a whopping 8 feet 3 inches, he is one of the tallest humans on Earth. Like many others on his list, his growth isn't normal. It was caused by a tumor that developed in the pituitary gland and has been linked to acromegaly. In a similar Colder's case, his growth rate rose exponentially after he clocked 10. Before his parents could realize the rapid change, he was already 6 feet. The colossal human was unable to pull through the skull due to his staggering height. He didn't walk without his crutches or an aid. The doctor tried to remove the tumor in 2008, but after it was seemingly successful it regrew. This time it became more robust. Since this tumor was already deep into his brain, the doctors used a technique focusing on beams of radiation to remove it. It was only in 2012 that experts confirmed that it stopped growing. Number 5. John Rogan, 8 feet 9 inches. John Rogan is the tallest African in history. Born in Tennessee in 1868, the giant saw his height escalate beyond control when he was only 13. Due to his size he suffered from ankylosis which made his joints still painful due to inflammation. As a result, he couldn't put his weight on his feet, and he never walked for most of his life. Instead, he was pulled around in the goat card he had constructed. Gawking at foreign people was a thing during his time, and so a fan organizer invited him to a show where visitors would pay money to see him. He rejected the offer and continued to sell gift cards. Since he didn't enjoy mobility as regular humans do, he made a living by selling postcards and pictures of himself. Of course, everyone wanted to catch a glimpse of one of the tallest men in history, so sales were high. He died in 1905, but was buried under a block of concrete to prevent inquisitive scientists from digging up his body. Number 4. Edouard Beaupre, 8 feet 3 inches. Another mortar that reached an incredible height of 8 feet 3 inches was Edward Beaupre. He was born in Saskatchewan, Canada, in 1881. As a child he dreamt of being a cowboy, but this lifelong dream changed when he clocked 17 and realized he could lift an 800-pound horse. When he was 21, he joined the Barnum and Bailey Circus as a strong man. This Canadian giant's resume includes lifting heavy horses and wrestling. He is one of the world's strongest men. Although he was famous for his stunts and he suffered severe injuries while doing them. He once broke his leg after lifting a 900-pound weight. He suffered from tuberculosis, which was the immediate cause of his death. Doctors who examined Edward discovered he suffered from a pituitary gland tumor which made him continue growing even after clocking 23. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 3. Vaino Millerin, 8 feet 3 inches. Born in Helsinki, Finland, in 1909, Millerin was only 7 feet 3 inches tall, but when he clocked 21 he experienced exponential growth. As if that wasn't enough, he hit another phase in his late 30s, and by the time of his death he reached 8 feet 3 inches. In the 1930s he toured Europe where he worked as a professional wrestler and circus performer. He later quit his job and joined the Finnish Defense Forces. He used his height to serve his country through the military. While he was in active service, he was the tallest soldier ever to have lived. He was also voted as the 12th greatest Finn by Shuretsa Malesid, a local TV station. Growing this talk comes with his downsides. As you can guess, he also suffered at a megaly, and until his death he held the position of the tallest man in the world. His hands measuring a whopping 15.7 inches wide, which is the largest in history. Number 2. Robert Wadlow, 8 feet 11 inches. 
Robert Wadlow, famously known as the Giant of Illinois. Having reached 8 feet and 11 inches, he's said to be the tallest person ever to have lived. He also suffered from hypertrophy of the pituitary gland that caused him to produce more growth hormones than was necessary. Until his death, he never stopped growing. As of when he was 8, he was already 6 feet tall and weighed about 77 kilograms. The Illinois resident was so huge that his school had to construct a customized desk for him. And during his time the doctors didn't have a name for his condition, but they knew something mess with a vital hormone. Wadlow wore leg braces all his life because he couldn't move around due to his brittle bones. In one of his professional appearances his leg brace failed him causing him to have blisters. The injury became infected and all the surgery and blood transfusions done on him failed, and he died on July 15, 1940, in his sleep. He was 22 years old when he died and his funeral attracted over 30,000 fans. Fun fact because of his weight, 12 pal pairs were needed to carry his body. Number 1. John F. Carroll, 8 feet 7 and a half inches. Born in Buffalo, New York, in 1932, he is another figure that makes it to this list. He continued to grow until the day he died. At one point he added almost 7 inches within a few months. He suffered various complications in his short time on Earth, one such being a two-dimensional spinal cord known as kyphoscoliosis. This condition was so severe that getting his accurate measurements was challenging. Although he received prompt treatment at Mercy Hospital, it yielded no positive results as his case continued to regenerate. Before his death, his height was shortened to 7 feet 8 inches. There you have it. Let's do a high check game in the comment box. I'm 5 feet 9 inches tall. Please leave your answer in the comment box below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos.